Hi guys, welcome to the fifth video of the Golang and React full stack to do project application series. In the fourth video, we completed our router.go file. In the third video, we did our main.go and our models file. And in this fifth video, we'll start working on our middleware file now. All right. So let's get started. We'll say package middleware. And then it'll have import. And then it will also have all the other functions that we wanted to handle. For example, in your router, you had get all tasks, create task, task complete, undo task, delete task. And this here, I think is a typo. So it should be middleware dot delete all tasks. So these are the fu functions that we need to have. All right. So what we'll do is I think uh, we'll start creating the outline of these functions. So let's create a function func get all tasks. We'll take in a couple of parameters and we'll have a function definition. Then we'll have a func create task. And same it'll have, it'll accept some parameters, it'll have a function definition. Then you can see here we have a task complete function. So we'll say func task complete the next function we'll have is undo task so func undo task and then we have our delete task so func delete task then we have delete all tasks so func delete all tasks. Now generally uh, all these functions will accept W and R. R. So which where W is the HTTP dot response writer and R is a pointer to HTTP dot request. And uh, that basically means that you need your HTTP package here. So you'll say net slash HTTP package here as well. And I need the log package to log out some errors. I will also need my OS package. So I'll just keep it here for the time being. And obviously FMT to print out stuff. And now that you know since from the past video that we want to work on our uh, from from JSON to struct and struct to JSON, we want to do conversions, uh, marshalling and marshalling. We'll use encoding slash JSON. Then we also need the context package, and we need obviously our Gorilla Mux. So we'll say GitHub dot com slash Gorilla slash Mux. All right. So the first thing that you'll do is you will create a MongoDB collection. So we'll say where collection star mongo dot collection. Middleware, all the functions in the middleware are responsible for talking to your database. All right. So that means you need uh, a couple of Mongo Mongo drivers as well. So the ones that we need are go dot mongodb dot org slash mongo driver slash json. We need go dot mongo db dot org slash mongo driver slash json slash primitive. Go dot mongo db dot org slash mongo driver slash mongo go dot mongo db dot org slash mongo driver slash mongo slash options so these are the ones that you need and here uh, we'll also have an environment file 
env file. So let's create a .env file here. So uh, new file .env. Since you want to work with the database, we need some environment variables. First one we need is db uri. So any Mongo database uh, URI starts with MongoDB. So in my case, it's localhost 27017. You can use uh, an external fully managed MongoDB or you can be running it on your localhost like I am, doesn't matter. You can just give the MongoDB um, URL here. And then we'll have our DB name so for now, we'll just keep, keep it test. And the collection name will be to do list. So now we have our environment file fixed. To work with the environment file, we need a package. So here's the spelling, just make sure you get it right. So the package that we need is github.com slash joho slash go dot env which helps us to get uh, the environment variables from the dot env file so this means that we'll have a initial initialization function and we'll have a function called load the environment and create db instance so these two functions are called uh, directed at the beginning and now let's work on our uh, load the environment function which just uh, uses the go dot environment package that we just um, imported calls the load function and loads the dot env file and if there's an error we can catch it like this and then now let's handle the error. So we'll say if error not equal to nil means if the error is there, we'll say log, log dot fatal error loading the dot env file. And then uh, we'll have our create db instance function, which will be quite long. So what I'll do is uh, I'll keep this video short and I'll handle that in the next video. So do subscribe to this channel so that you come to know when the next video of the series comes out. And um, I hope you're learning something and I hope you're enjoying this full stack project. So thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next episode.